Alright guys, so my name is Prasham. I'm with the University of Applied Sciences Europe. I normally cover a lot of regions in India apart from six different uh, regions abroad. Now, I did see a lot of students here. Many of you have already applied with us for September intake. There are some over here who are currently studying as well with us from our intake. Harmohit Singh has raised his hand. Uh, let me unmute you. Hi Harmohit, how are you? I'm good, first of all, you? All good man. Sir, I have test done test. Sir, my admission is not going to be done. I don't know what to Okay, pass number one, Harmoit. So, we have, we have Harmoit here uh, who has a query that he hasn't got his admission test yet. Yes, uh, regarding Harmoit, I have... Uh, let me have a quick check on the system itself. Sir, number is P76815522. P seven six eight one five two two. Right. Yeah, Harmoy. Yep. Yeah, I've I've just had a check on the system and I do see that I have issued the admission test on uh, on this last Friday on thirtieth of July. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Nisha also confirmed. Gurmo, uh, Gurpreet, could you please yeah. have uh, Nisha send the admission test to him? Noted. It, it was re it was released on Friday, in fact. Put it, Prashant. I'll take a note. Yeah. Right, perfect. So, any other things Thanks. that I can help you with here, Harmoid? So, this one I got Friday. I got this one. Maybe you'll Oh no! Once once you complete the admission test, I'll try to release the offer within three to four working days. All right. Okay, so once you get the offer, you can proceed with the fee payment part. All right. So okay. if you complete the admission test either today or tomorrow, or uh, most probably I will maximum I can get your offer letter latest by coming Monday. All right. And I, I and basis that you can go ahead with the visa appointment as well. So in case if your visa appointment is in September or even in October, you can start with online study. You can start attending your classes online in September, starting 16th of September. And once you receive your visa, you can travel to Germany and continue your classes in Germany. So that's absolutely fine. Lovely. Oh, thanks. thanks. Right, Mohit. Uh, Harmit, I'll get back to you on this. Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, anybody else who has a question, kindly raise the hand, please. I'll unmute uh, that guy. Anybody? Yes, Sandeep. Okay, so you have to change the course and if I'm not wrong. Change the course for sure. Yeah. yeah, so if he wants to change this course and if he wants to apply for September, definitely he can do that. There, there is no issues with that. Uh, but uh, it will depend upon the course as well, which he wants to switch in. Mm -hmm. Because depending upon the course, we have additional requirements such as which is into a portfolio as well. So right. if there is a portfolio requirement, obviously he will have to submit a new portfolio and you know start the entire process. So it depends upon the course as well. So it's not that you know uh, he can apply directly for the course and get the offer letter. So it depends upon the course, depending upon the course, the admission process change for because most of our arts courses they require a what, they, what how should I say this they require a portfolio so if there is a portfolio requirement which is mandatory then he will have to submit the portfolio as well within the stipulated time the thing that we are looking at right now is the amount of time that we have from today onwards mm -hmm. to the first class start day and then the last enrollment day that is any student you know who wishes to start online can start online before that particular enrollment day and can travel later on once they get their visa so it's practically like that but for application mm -hmm. date the last deadline is end of this month which i'm trying to drag until the mid of september so at this point in time once i have a thorough check and find out like which program he wants to switch to that is right. when i will be able to suggest mm -hmm. because every program is different and right. each program has their own course of action to begin with mm -hmm. and the uh, basis that the difficulty level also change so if it's innovation design management it's more of a management program and less of design time. if it's photography then obviously it is more into arts factor then it there's a definite portfolio required. If it's media spaces or if it's uh, visual experience design, mm -hmm. again, it is more of art fact. So there's oh, a portfolio okay. requirement. So everything changes depending upon which course he wants to apply. Sandeep, uh, can, can you leave a number right now with me or you can drop a text or something? Andy. Okay, Prashant, uh, we have a question from uh, Solanika. Uh -huh. uh, an iOS student can take admissions and can I get admission without IELTS and okay. how much percent is needed? When you talk about NIOS, uh, what are you currently referring to? Can I have the full form instead of the abbreviation? It's a national open schooling. Okay, open schooling is uh, still accepted, mm -hmm. right? And uh, it depends if it's high school or if it's like bachelor's degree that the student has needed. So it will depend. Now, open schooling, definitely we do have a without IELTS option as well, but in the student, student needs to submit a medium of instruction. But with open schooling, it is just not possible because okay. with open schooling, you don't 
have your regular tutors that's the biggest challenge so you don't because you don't have a regular tutor that changes everything so in open schooling majority of the time it is ielts which is accepted however it will depend if if uh, you know if she's going to open schooling obviously she has to go for her exams and register at a particular center as well which is basically a study center so if she can get a, a written document from them on a letterhead and i'm stated that the you know the course is in english that that's absolute i can work things around that so this can be sorted so no no, no open schooling board is acceptable i mean to this yeah for open schooling this is the biggest challenge that we have for medium instruction okay. because there's no physical school or college for example i had this challenge with one of the student from maharashtra he okay. he actually gave his uh, high school which is uh, standard 12 to a uh, private base okay. when you go through private bases in maharashtra you have the option of avoiding college and just giving the exam so you have those you know study centers in maharashtra mm-hmm. so the student can actually apply through those and still get the ihc so in that particular okay. case what happens is like student does not have a medium of instruction because he never went through regular college he skipped that one so i spoke with the management and i told them i told the admissions as well in this manner the student doesn't have a standard 11th at all he can directly skip so in okay. such situations he needs to have a letter from the study center through which he mm-hmm. or she registered for the hc examination so that is how it works out so they need to have a letter from them stating that the course uh, was actually in english the examination conducted was in english that's more than enough. so that letter is required yep that letter is required so it has to be on letterhead itself or for national yeah it has it has to be on the letterhead of the uh, institute okay okay uh, there's a question uh, i'm a sportsman so that's why uh, i would go for an ios mm-hmm. and i'm international international I'm player international player yes yep he can, he or she can definitely apply for it because uh, anyways at the end of the day they do have to go through the registration process from a study center uh-huh. or a certain state so right. in nios as well the study center pay plays an important role if he or mm-hmm. she can get a letter from there that's more than enough right. because we everyone understands that open when it comes to open schooling you don't have mm-hmm. a regular institute where you go to for classes for right. so that is always there because i myself i've gone through that process i never had a you know a teacher or i never attended college to get that's right, right. Uh, i've just shared my number with every one of you so you can call on this number anytime and uh, we can have further queries later on so we have one question from ruchi uh, what is the fee for b1 and b2 level courses and duration language courses i believe yeah i guess i i believe she might be uh, suggesting for language courses well mm-hmm. the thing is we don't offer b2 what we offer is b1 but it is only offered as a part of an extended course towards our foundation year in engineering right. and business now obviously when the student completes a foundation year with us they also attempt the state examination with us and then they can move on with the public university so they only right. study one year with us so it's a b1 course that we offer as a part of the extended course uh, and it re- requires a minimum of a uh, value of 2950 euros mm-hmm. it's a 15 week course and it starts prior to our foundation year for example right. our foundation year we have two intakes one intake is in april the other intake is in october mm-hmm. so we practically require the students to be there at the very beginning of the course from day 1 itself in campus they cannot skip right. school so that is why uh, the program which is for b1 it starts from january for april intake and mm-hmm. for october intake it starts from uh, june right sounds good hope this Query is sorted. The other one is uh, from Anil. Sir, I am a BSc physician assistant. Okay. And can I get an admission for MSc physician assistant study in Germany? I got eighty percent from my board tenth and twelfth. From UG, I got about seventy-five percent. Can I? Am I eligible or can I be eligible? All right. So when you say physician assistant, there is no such thing as physician assistant. Uh huh. That's a designation. Right. But uh, BSc in physician assistant, this is the first time that I'm hearing this course about. Uh-huh. Uh, I I believe this is more. into medical factor all right yeah so for medical it's quite hard to get an admission in masters in germany i'll be very frank it's it's not easy at all it's quite hard may that be bachelors or if you're referring to masters it's quite hard so more of what i can offer with us at university of applied sciences europe is more of business and arts faculty mm-hmm. so if he wishes to do a business course i can yeah definitely i can offer him corporate management along with the uh, pre masters all right so mm-hmm. he can do a pre masters program which is of 6 months mm-hmm. right? Right. and uh, basis that he can either switch to um, e- either he can either co- continue with corporate management with us for two, another 2 years mm-hmm. or if he gets an admission in a public university for uh, you know for this for a course which is related to the same field he can continue that but i would not be able to guarantee that the course that is available in public university will be in the same language which is english it right. can be in german as well so they can take a foundation course and uh, yeah. they can pursue public university courses later yeah for masters applicant we have a pre- master's program mm-hmm. 
it's it's just that for uh, for south asia we offer it along with our masters program so it's uh, up to the student the student can actually study the six month course which is a pre masters and then they, if they would like they can continue the course with us as their masters as well with us or they can switch to a public university and study their public, you know masters with public university it's, it's it totally depends upon them. perfect i uh, hope the answer is uh, the question is answered i believe we have one more question from ruchi i need to know two things like living expenses for doing the foundation course in germany again yeah so if, if she wants to do a bachelor's degree in a public university obviously she has to go through the foundation year mm -hmm. so the course is for one year obviously the living expenses are the same as a regular bachelor's program or master's program the same block account is what she needs to refer to however uh, when it comes to working rights initially she will not have working rights when she files her you know final documentation in germany for in order to get her you know uh, resident permit that is when she has to request working rights with ministry of labor the office of labor and from the office of immigration so she will get the working rights as well during that but then when it comes to living expenses the same student requires a block account of 10236 euros which is similar to that of bachelor's or masters it doesn't matter perfect so uh, i got one query from a student uh, who is studying in singapore at the moment right now so like uh, i'll just I'll, i'll just read out the question i am singapore yep. i am in singapore now i did diploma in business and retail management mm -hmm. and did six months internship there oh, I now i am looking for the further study in germany mm -hmm. can you suggest me which course is suitable for me can oh, i go I for mba there now it will depend uh, the diploma that you've done i'll need to have a check because basis mm -hmm. that i'll have to run uh, run it through you know the through zet as well and uh, i'll also have need to have a check at uh, anabin for the exact equivalence and basis that i will be in a situation to actually let him know if he would be even qualify for masters basis the qualification he has otherwise because what happens is like majority of the time when students talk about qualifications from different countries there's a lot of factors which is involved and majority of the time it is noticed that they need an approval from anabin and uh, senate as well even before they apply they need to get their documents assessed and uh, accredited by senate itself first and then they'll see if they are eligible or not and then they can proceed with the university in germany for mass so Perfect. this is noticed quite a lot of time in australia as well even in singapore as well this is noticed in uh, several south asian countries like bangladesh as well mm. in uh, sri lanka as well so this is a major important factor which makes it totally different and especially with singapore or uh, diplomas i have to run a check through the accreditation for the singaporean authorities as well the course was accredited at the time of finishing of com of the student completing the course and at the same time then i have to go back to anabin and check if it's you know equivalent enough to actually apply for masters because german qualification system is totally different to that of singapore that's why there's one more question from rushi uh, i've shared my number uh, with the uh, hp i believe you got my whatsapp number now so you can take the details and we can have a longer chat on this so we have another question from rushi do you do you have any alliance with public university does it uh, subsidize subsidizes the fees or what so okay. yes we have and i think we have some tabs with public universities but at the moment we're talking with uh, talking about uh, university of applied sciences it's a private university and i think prashant will give some more highlights for this yeah oh uh, well as uh, gurpreet rightly said we do have a collaboration with two universities in fact we have a collaboration with uh, niederhain university of applied sciences and we also have a collaboration with south westphalia university of applied sciences these are public universities wherein your fees are as good as semester contributions that means i'm referring to 300 to 500 euros per semester so maximum of 1000 euro per year is the fee in public university so So that is what I'm referring to as well. Now each of these universities have multiple campuses and any student who does a foundation year in engineering with us is actually guaranteed an admission in their bachelor's program as well simultaneously. So the student only has to complete their foundation year in engineering with us which is of course in German so the student is required to have prior German language efficiency when applying. Perfect. So uh, I would like to ask anybody who wants to have a direct question with Prashim they can ask you know directly rather for tapping in text yeah. so you can be bilingual as well like you can talk in hindi as well he is good in hindi i believe prasham are you yeah i'm very well versed with english uh, hindi i'm okay with punjabi as well punjabi Although as well punjabi that well but ah. yeah i'm fine with punjabi as well lovely guys so be comfortable uh, just raise your hand i'll unmute you and you can ask questions anytime if you like the other questions sure. coming up around race sir is 
this good idea to come to Germany for bachelor's in English language? Unfortunately, if you want to do a bachelor's in English language, I would suggest not to come to Germany because English is a literature uh, literature subject. Mm -hmm. And it is best suggested that if, if you're referring to a certain language, you start from a country where it, where it first originated. Mm -hmm. So for example, if it's English, I would always recommend English literature is always recommended you opt for you. Perfect. So uh, one question, uh, guys, let's try to write down in Hindi, right? Like, uh, let, me, let me check what exactly he's, what he's asking right now. Uh -huh. So uh, he has done BSc Digital Business mm -hmm. and Data Science degree uh -huh. and wants to go for a master's degree option. So what okay. are job opportunities? See, uh, yesterday we, uh, we actually had a, a good discussion. Me and the team were having a discussion on the current job opportunities available in uh, our digital business field. And we were looking at roughly around a thousand plus job opportunities every month mm -hmm. based on uh, statistical data that we ran through five to six different job portals in Germany which are mostly used including CF uh, that means Times with Times Germany so mm -hmm. we uh, referred to CF as well and uh, basis that we did a uh, you know, few calculations on the numbers and the figures and what we noticed was you know management field has job opportunities of nearly about 400 to 600 but mm -hmm. when it comes to digital business because all all companies or most of you know they tend to, to move towards uh, digital business and analysis so because of that the number of job opportunities increasing in the market is how Even And this data is according to the current standards right now, despite the lockdown. Sorry. I'm talking about right now, despite the pandemic, despite the lockdown, this is the mm -hmm. current statistic that you're looking at. And if you guys want to reach out to me uh, directly as well, I have my social media profile on Facebook and uh, Instagram as well. You can reach out to me directly. Just let me know when did we converse. So according to that, I can actually guide you and um, you know I can speak with Gurpreet as well so that he can provide you further. Because most of the time I'm, I'm occupied with meetings and uh, faces from other countries as well so most the time when i'm free is literally around midnight in india then. so i tend to see to it that you that the students get maximum support through their agents as well so in case if you guys reach out to me on my social media profile do let me know when did we converse that according to that i can recall and i can help you out maybe you can share the pr uh, profiles with us right now so we can write to you or uh, reach yeah, you out definitely you can uh you can it's just as my name states prasham gotham you type it on facebook you reach me out instantly i'll get a notification right now and you'll make a friend request if you go through my profile you will see the first the last post that i made was regarding the primitive event that we have right kisi ke paas aur questions abhi hain at the moment right now to ask is the one um, i have done 12th in 2018 with mm -hmm. 77 person non medical stream with overall 5.5 bands and five you know and one module uh, which course i am eligible for the current situation well, in germany definitely uh, uh, based on the current uh, you know uh, academics that he has he is uh, definitely eligible for all our courses and classes he can if he wants to study in public university he can start off with the foundation year as well in business faculty with us which is in english and uh, he can do the course in english and then move on to any public university in germany he wants once he's completed the foundation year. so obviously if he wants to start uh, this september he need, will need to start with the online course and then travel to germany as soon as he gets his visa because the final examination especially and the second term of the course uh, something that wherein he has to be mandatory in campus okay. that's why and uh, because of uh, because the exam examination itself is so special that it cannot be held outside of germany and it cannot be held online as well so the final examination for that course which will be held if he starts this october uh it would be held in the end of may next year and uh, for that for mandatorily he has to be in campus he cannot skip that okay so you mean to say uh part time the kind of covid situation right now is going on it will be like online class, classes then uh, yep. moving on to in october somewhere he has to move into germany for uh, face to face classes yep so you can uh, his for foundation year the classes starts from october 1st all right so he can start online but he need to ensure he doesn't miss any classes and uh, then he can move on to campus as soon as he gets his visa before march 10th, which is absolutely mandatory he has to be there in camp in campus perfect narender i hope you got the answer for your question and uh, you can drop your contact number uh, privately to me as well or i think uh, you must have taken note of my contact numbers as well so you can draw me e drop me email or whatsapp uh, your queries we can take it up further later on so we have one more from uh, simrit sir uh, i can't understand please translate into hindi or punjabi my cues is sorry uh, i believe so uh, smrit uh, can can you can i have your contact details please you can send me your contact details privately so we'll we'll have a complete discussion on this and Our conversation going on in Russia. Or oh, would you like uh, Prasham to answer your question or your particular question in Hindi as well? He can do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I, I I can answer in Hindi. 
सबमिट आप अपना क्वेश्चन डाल सकते हैं इसमें हिंदी में भी और जस्ट यू कैन ड्रॉप इन योर क्वेश्चन और टेक्स्ट टू मी सो आई विल गिव द आंसर इन हिंदी एज़ वेल नो इशूज सो प्रशम अभी सिचुएशन कैसा है जर्मनी के लिए विल स्टूडेंट्स बी एबल टू फ्लाई इन जर्म इन द मंथ ऑफ सितंबर अक्टूबर में जा सकते हैं वो लोग या एज़ फार एज़ आई एम लुकिंग एट यू नो द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैड अप्लाइड फॉर मार्च हु आर करेंटली इन इंडिया आई वुड सी आई वुड से लाइक मेजॉरिटी ऑफ दोस स्टूडेंट्स आर करेंटली इन इंडिया एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द लास्ट स्टैटिस्टिक्स स्टैटिस्टिक्स दैट आई हैड फ्रॉम द टीम फ्रॉम दिस वीकेंड इट स्टेटेड दैट वी हैव नियरली अबाउट 60 seven visas already for mm-hmm. march mm-hmm. and uh, they are planning to move out to germany as soon as they get their flights booked there are some who are moving out to germany in this month itself next week in fact and there are some who are planning to move uh, at the start of september and then when if i have to talk about my september intake we had mm-hmm. students who had replanned everything and had applied for their visa appointment way early starting this year even they've got their visas and uh, they are just getting them restamped uh, at this moment for uh, for september intake i'm looking at nearly 53 visas which have been restamped and so these mm-hmm. students will also are planning to move to germany in september as for the new applications uh, from the latest updates that i have from the embassy and you know from the other agents as well it is quite noticed that there are visa appointments being issued however it is not immediate so mm-hmm. sabse pehla sawal students ke dimag mein yahi aata hai ki it's not immediate then when because my course starts in september i have to be in campus it's all right the course starts in september iska matlab ye nahi hai ki for this september you have to be in class. you can start your studies online and this gives a better boost to your profile when you are apply for your visa because the embassy knows that aapne already padhai chalu kar rahe hain aapne already september mein online enrollment kiya hai aapki padhai shuru ho chuki hai and if you weren't a serious applicant you wouldn't have started online already that is the major thing here. so you are a serious applicant that's why you started an online in september and you have a deadline until march next year to actually be in camp So the moment you get your visa, you can travel to campus. That's not an issue at all. Any students who are in Germany or will be in Germany, for them it will be batch-wise classes because we will be following the norms for for the government. So we'll be dividing the classes in batches. So according to that, some will have online, some will have physical, and this will be, or uh, in a way, it would be managed would be so that every student gets an opportunity to online and or offline class also. So they will be rolled out in batches. Any student who is in India or Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Philippines, no matter where they are, it doesn't matter. If they are online, they will be in batches as well, and they will continue to have live classes, which mm-hmm. we have kept it as mandatory until next year March, just so that the students can avoid wasting time. For example, we had this student from last year September. He was supposed to go in March earlier this year. He cancelled it because of the COVID-19 pandemic, and now it is September, and I'm still waiting for an update from him whether or not he will start online or will he go for physical classes. why because he thinks he believes that physical import or uh, physical classes have much more better opportunity for him and he can you know a uh, much more better chance of grasping and uh, when it comes to academics and it is much more easier as well. but on the other hand he doesn't he's not looking at the fact that he's actually wasting one whole year already and if he decides to go for physical classes again and start off in march he'll be wasting another six months so as a student mera sirf ek hi kehna hai ki don't look at physical class i understand in india online classes have been devastated trust me i've seen examples myself it's not that great there's not much of support offered nothing is there but in germany things are different that's why we support so much in fact aapke classes ke shuruaati din mein in fact i'll be training gurpreet and his team as well in reference to how online classes are conducted where students can refer to for their uh, library where the students can refer to their notes for the classes that was attended online and how the basic structure is why so that they can impart the same knowledge to yourself when you guys start the classes and it will be easier for you and at the same time because everything is online if suppose you are a working professor for example you are applying for a masters yeah. class but you work from home hello so you're not wasting your time you can simultaneously work as well and study as well at the same time and once you get your visa you can travel to germany and more of that the time that you spend in india studying online you actually save a lot of money as well in written term of living expenses if for an average i have to consider that you spend around 50 to 60000 indian currency in a month in germany you'll be saving all that money over there why because majority of the time it is your parents who are covering those costs so you end up saving if you start online on living expense which again helps you when you move to on campus you have a greater backup when it comes to finance that's why so hello sir best, yeah bolie na hello sir i have a question sir yeah okay my name is parminder uh, i have already cleared the admission test uh, for university of applied science and just wanted to know when 
can I get my offer letter? Sure. Uh, for you, Parminder, I've already asked the admissions. Let me have a check on the uh, Parminder, right? Because I yes. I was informed over the weekends concerning uh, your test, and I already requested the uh, who did I request? Yeah, I've already asked Grace to have a check of uh, uh, the admission test results and get it reviewed by the professor itself. And once uh, the review is complete, uh, latest by this week or uh, before this Friday, I should be able to get you your offer letter. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Sure. Anyone else, guys? Any questions? Uh, Simrit, me question for Sata Prashant. I think uh, let, I think I missed it. Is it a good idea to come to Germany with bachelor's in engineering? Obviously, अपने अगर engineering कर रखी है, right? Uh. We we come we do come across a lot of students who've done their engineering and they're looking forward for math. And uh, as a rep, I always suggest that if you have an engineering subject, yeah. unless and until you do not plan on you know continuing further studies in the same subject and increase your knowledge. For example, if you are planning to do a PhD in the same subject, then only pick that particular subject in master's. Well. Otherwise, try to enhance your knowledge by increasing your options when it comes to work. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times it is noticed that students actually want to once they finish their Study. They want to work in the same country wherein they finish their study. For example, for Germany, I do come across come across a lot of uh, students who've done their engineering in uh, in bachelors. In fact, I currently have a number of students uh, from Punjab as well who've done their engineering in bachelors. But they are going for a uh, masters in business. Why? Is because once you complete your course, you look at the job opportunities available. Now, obviously, uh, you've done an engineering subject, which is really good. But then, at the end of the day, when you look at job prospects as well, you need to diversify your portfolio. You need to enhance that. How do you do it? By doing a management level. When you do a management course, you, there is a very high possibility that you would not start off at as an engineer level. You can start off as a project leader level or a project manager level, which is a bit higher to that of an engineer because it's it's about basics. When you, you when you have bachelor's degree in engineering, the more you, you would think about is becoming an engineer, starting off as an engineer. But then when you do a management level course as a master, you actually widen your profile. A lot of times it is seen in India itself that a lot of students tend to do their engineering in bachelor's and then top it up. With the management course in mass, why do they do it? Is just to widen their horizons when it comes to work opportunities. Because job opportunities are very good. Obviously, when we look at Germany, the kind of job opportunities, the statistics that we were looking at yesterday were, you know, above the mark. I haven't seen that in a long time, and uh, especially with the current scenario, it was. Really amazing, but then again, you know, you can't just be an engineer, right? Somewhere down the line, or some somewhere down the line, you will actually grow up to be a project leader, a project manager, or you will get into management. Or forget about that, you know, you might in, you might even join a a firm which is into I would say engineering products or software development or I would say you know automotive. But then you do not get an opportunity to be an engineer over there, but they are willing to offer you an opportunity in sales or maybe management level. Then what? Obviously, you never studied management, you never studied, you never. Had any practical experience of sales? So where does this all come from? That's why we a lot of students tend to do a masters in management, and this mm-hmm. is noticed even in the Western countries. As long as the student doesn't, as long as the student wants to continue further studies in the same subject, they do not they do not take management as master. For example, I have students in uh, you know who are currently studying in UK from my previous uh, organization that I was working with. Or uh, I would see a lot of students doing management, but then I would also see some students following the same subject in masters as well, and they are currently doing their PhDs in this sort in those subjects. So it depends. If you're looking at better work prospects abroad, if you're looking for work prospects close complete. completion of your masters i would suggest the best thing to do would be a management and masters because you already are an engineer when you completed your bachelors that's what i would suggest so if you have a bachelors in engineering yes definitely you should come to germany because you it's a home to majority of the you know automotive i would say majority of the automotive brands in fact the top leading brands in supercars apart from that there was a recent news for poland i i, I believe i shared it i don't think i've shared it yet so in poland they've launched their first electric vehicle however But it was manufactured in Germany, so the brand comes from Germany, but it was released in Poland for the first time. If I look at a car automotive company, this it's not just the engineering team which you know practically builds the car. You have your R and D team which works on the design factor. You have your event management team which works with marketing team in order to you know release the uh, I would say showcase their cars or bikes, and then you have the marketing team which. Works in coordination with the sales team, which further helps with the selling part of those vehicles. And then at the above them comes the management team, and then so on and so forth, straight to the CEO part. So there are for a certain company there are different sectors. 
So when a student has an engineering degree, it's not necessary that you know he might be interested in engineering. If he picks up management and he seems that he's good with marketing, he might even have an option to actually join an automotive company. But instead of the manufacturing bit, he can join the marketing bit because he also has the basic knowledge of engineering from him for, from his bachelor's. So that actually adds up as a plus point to his profile. So every kind of job opportunity depends upon the student's profile, previous knowledge, academic as well as work. experience i believe this is somewhat a relative answer that a lot of students look for i believe so even uh sounds perfectly okay prashim i think we are close to close on session but before that uh, i just need to have a bit more knowledge from uh, from your perspective about the university of life sciences in terms yeah. of eligibility criteria Mm-hmm. and what course should be promoted and what profile we should you know leave out all right now when i look at profile basis uh, and eligibility criteria first thing we look at is a lot of times we have students from hsc prac background high school from punjab or haryana or any other part of india that is practically state boards so we look mm-hmm. at minimum 60% but then we do accept students as low as 50% as well in fact recently i got an application from you or uh, from your team for masters it's a, it's for a female student but she has scored around 49% so i will be requesting i will be requesting your admissions team to in order to assess me with a recommendation letter from the students institute so that i can uh, you can i can speak with admissions and try to make an exception so yeah we do accept students with a uh, less of lower percentage as well for bachelor and to be quite frank we have both bachelor's degree and foundation year foundation year which leads to public university so my question here is when i have both which one should i prefer to promote more well it depends upon my student frankly speaking it depends upon my student it depends upon his budget if i say i have a bachelor's degree in business and arts the student can definitely do it but it should be his budget as well if he doesn't have the budget to actually proceed because when i talk about my bachelor's degree there are three straight years per year on an average the fee is around 10 to 11000 euros and that's per year just fees and then additional is the living expense if my student doesn't have a budget for a bachelor's degree for with me for business i would obviously suggest him to do a foundation year in business why because once he or she completes the foundation year he can he or she can actually move on to any public university that they want in Germany that's a major opportunity for them to actually you know recover their academics and apply in a public university wherein the fees is hardly a maximum of up to 1000 euros a year when i compare 1000 euro to 11 to 10000 euro a year there's a big difference so i would suggest it's up to the students budget now on the other hand when it comes to masters masters again we have the pre masters program we have the masters program as well but again it depends upon the students budget if the student wants to do wants to study their masters in a public university then definitely they can do just the pre masters with us and then once they've completed the pre masters with us they can uh, they can start with the discontinuation process with us and apply with a public university simultaneously in order to do their masters in a public university so it is all dependent on the students but it's not a certain subject however more of like what i recommend is diversification i want the students to actually start from you know uh, study in different campus because we have our berlin campus we have our hamburg campus we have our isolon campus as well to be quite frank for this month any student that applies for a hamburg and isolon campus will be receiving a upfront scholarship of 20% on their first year fee and this will be also be applicable for this september and the following year in march as well however it is only for those applications which are filed during this month and at the same time we will also be having uh, our online classes as well in september so if you do not wish to or waste your time by waiting in for until march and take if you can start your studies online in september i would definitely recommend september and take as well because the application deadline itself is end of this month and you can enroll latest by october so which is a major benefit for yourself question uh, i need to check one thing what is the minimum fee and maximum fee that we can think about you know question student for ue all right so when we talk about the minimum fee requirement obviously when we issue offer letters we request the student to pay at least 3000 euros so that mm-hmm. we can issue the admission uh, you know letter of admission and other documents Yes obviously we had the offer where in uh, June and July as well wherein we were requesting just a nominal fee of 1000 euros and then you can pay the balance 2000 euros before start of September or you can pay the balance first semester fee by the time you start your enrollment in September uh, because at the end of the day what we do is like if you do not get a visa you get a full refund on your fee there is only a small deduction of 150 euros it doesn't matter you were enrolled online or not it doesn't matter at all it doesn't matter you completed one semester with us but failed to get a visa you will still 
be given a full refund and uh, the refund value will be post deduction of 150 euros so when when it comes to payments what we suggest is the student starts with 3000 euros before the class start or uh, before the class start date they pay the balance uh, first semester fee all right because anyhow it is a refundable value mm-hmm. then they can pay the balance second semester fee by the time they are in germany i'm talk- i'm referring to september intake right eh? normally the second semester fee is supposed to be paid before the start of second semester Right. And in fact, uh, if the student is facing financial trouble out of nowhere, out of the blue, then in that case, they can request for installment options as well by writing to student service. They'll be able to help with an installment option as well. That's not an issue. Perfect. Uh, I think we have Ambika got a question. Ambika, can yeah. you unmute uh, your system now? Sir, I wanted to ask one thing. If the student is not able to clear his uh, like foundation course, mm-hmm. uh, like, then he has an option to stay there, or he has to come, he or she has to come back. Okay. So when the student opts for a foundation. Foundation year, all right. And you mean to say if uh, he does not get an admission? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now I'll be very frank with you. If the student is uh, for a business faculty, it would be a lot more easier for him to get an admission. Now yeah. a lot of times we come across students who want to apply in uh, TU Munich, Berlin, HRW. So these institutes are top ranking institutes. The okay. student needs to understand that his academics is also important. So when he gives the foundation year with us, the scores which will be considered for his admission in a public university will be from the FSP. FSP is the state exam which I was referring to earlier. So mm-hmm. the scores from that examination is what is required for the admission in the public university. So if he is doing a business part course, then in that case he will need to look at the university standards as well. It is not that he will get an admission in the top ranking institute if his scores are like 60% or 55%. He will not get that. Admission. because it's all about waiting list first list second list system just like how we have it in india we have a waiting list we have a first list we have a second list similarly is the process in germany as well in public university so there is the first list which is the offer list then comes the waiting list the waiting list depends upon the offer list as well the more students withdraw from the offer list where better is the chances for the waiting list to come up so that's how it works so it depends upon the student as well which institute he or she is applying now if they are in a foundation year obviously i don't think it's possible that the student will not get an admission in public university it is quite possible that he can get an admission but it may be possible that he might not get an admission in the institute of his choice in that case he has the option to either study in a private university as well all right that is one option that he has or he can continue his uh, business program with us at UE at any of our campuses wherein he it is a guaranteed admission anyway so it depends upon the student if it's an engineering subject engineering subject is in german so obviously we have a tie up with niederheim university of applied sciences and south westphalia university of applied sciences so the student is guaranteed ad- ad- an admission as long as they complete the course with us successfully it doesn't matter what their scores are they should be able to complete the course with us successfully and pass the fsp examination and they are guaranteed admission in these two public universities the student just needs to pro- proceed with the application yes. process that is it and student is not allowed to work part time when he is going for a foundation course right yeah they initially they are not allowed to do part time but then they can request for part time uh, working rights from the uh, office of labor and the office of immigration once they have an approval from both they, mm-hmm. their working rights are added to their current resident permit and they can mm-hmm. start working as well right and how many chances are given to clear the foundation one or two uh, for foundation year if you failed once or if you scored less in one exam you will be mm-hmm. given another chance 6 months later on right sir perfect because it is actually a state exam it is not a regular exam that we conduct at our institute it is actually a state exam for which we receive applications from different institutes in germany as well to mm-hmm. commit their students to actually give the exam at our center mm-hmm. we are registered as a state center for that examination so we conduct mm-hmm. examination for students across germany not just our students right so thank you okay one last question from my side uh, prasham uh, is an nvac nvac board acceptable the american board yeah uh, the american board is acceptable uh, but uh, when it comes to american board there are certain other additional requirements as well uh-huh. which is quite uh, mandatory because when we look at american standard of studies they are different to that of indian standard that is the major difference so even though they are studying certain language subject even though they are studying history it may or may not be the kind of study that we have in job you know with the traditional state board that is the right. biggest issue that we face across with qualification from us so for us uh, let me have a quick check i do have it for uk for us so uh, we haven't set a standard criteria yet right mm-hmm. so mostly we we'll, uh, look at uh, at least their high school diploma certificate but the aggregate should be no less than 60% that's that's what we want 
Mm-hmm. One more last question. Let's yeah, answer this last question that we have from Amrit Lal. Yeah. Uh, it states that uh, sir, my September intake hai. He deposit karwa di hai. Or insurance ho gaya hai. Account block karwa diya hai. My September intake hai. Appointment kab aayega? Okay. So when it comes to visa appointment, it totally depends upon the embassy. I've, I have heard rumors that uh, there are certain cities wherein the VFS has activated and they have started to accept. visa applications but then i'm not so sure yet so until and unless a few students actually file their visa applications i will not be able to guarantee this yet so and we are except actually expecting the vfs to be fully functional starting september start of september or post mid of uh, august itself so if that is the case then obviously i will let gurpreet know and pyramid guys know that you know it has happened it has started and then you can file for your visa as well perfect thank you very much prashant thanks for your concession this one more question came up from uh, amrital i believe uh, October mil gaya ya fir November I think it would most likely yeah, be Yeah yeah that's uh, if 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 it's in October or November as well that's absolutely fine you can start your studies online and as soon as you get your visa just transfer to campus it adds up benefit to you that's why Sorry as a last question from my side Ajay. Ajay. Uh, so when does the university release uh, student enrollment uh, ID uh, basically kya hota hai ki enrollment ID I think shayad uh, uh, jab visa lagne ke baad ya fir uske baad hi aapko जाती है look at the letter her enrollment id is actually mentioned on that letter if it's not mentioned then you can actually go to campus net in campus net there is a download section so there are four letters men- mentioned over there so there is an enrollment letter as well so if you open the enrollment letter it clearly states her uh, enrollment id as well. right 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 so got it uh, right. we got one student here ajbir singh ajbir uh, after question the sawal aapka sir maine apply kiya tha university of applied science pe so abhi maine next intake lena march intake aapko march intake jana hai aapko march intake kyu jana sir abhi matlab condition both critical flights open in you know. uh, actually all flights will be uh, will open starting end of uh, end of august start of september okay so sir uh, and in fact aap ke liye mandatory hai ki aap jo last semester hai na wo aapka yeah. campus mein hona zaruri hai first semester agar campus mein nahi raha to it's absolutely fine that is aap online bhi padhai kar sakte ho in fact aapka jo second semester hai usme 3 mahine to aap classes bhi nahi jao why because yeah. it's a thesis period to so, 3 mahine aapko classes bilkul nahi rahegi to sir main march intake lena chahta hu agar aap march intake doge to aapko i can issue an offer letter right now as well but will you be able to pay the fee for march intake because there's a reservation okay. fee required for you to be paid kyunki ye oh, actually mein lambe waqt se aapke paas pending rakha hua hai sir how much i have to pay uh, you will be required to pay 3000 euros as a reservation fee ye 3000 euros aapke first semester ke fee mein se deduct kiye jayenge okay. so in case if you get a refusal as well you'll get a full refund back i already applied in your university yeah i uh, uh, maine apna application already dekha hai it's for corporate management if i'm not wrong right right, sir, right. corporate management ke liye na theek hai this bit i'll uh, i'll request for a uh, deferred offer for you for march intake but okay sir okay. before it, uh, deferring you for march intake i would suggest that aap ek baar soch lijiye kyunki if you start in september you can start online and you have time until march to arrive sir, kyunki march mein aapka second semester chalu hoga isliye so my final decision is i want to take march intake it's your final decision theek yes. hai fine in that case i'll do one thing i'll uh, application let me have a check. सर वन थिंग वांट टू नो या एडमिशन इज बिल्ट ऑन एमओ इन विदाउट आर्डर आपका तो एडमिशन तो हो चुका है ना तो सर मेरा एडमिशन एंड रोल अब एडमिशन फीस नहीं मैंने पे की हां तो सर मैं पूछ मैंने पूछ मैं ये पूछना चाहता हूं कि जो एडमिशन है विदाउट आर्डर से ले रहे हो आप इफ यू आर रेफरिंग टू विदाउट आर्डर्स लेट मी हैव अ चेक ऑन योर प्रोफाइल या आपका तो एमओआई के बेस पे तो हुआ है एडमिशन जी जी सर जी सो यू आर अ वर्किंग एग्जांपल इफ आई टॉक अबाउट एमओआई यू आर अ वर्किंग एग्जांपल वेयर इन आपके केस में मैंने हमने आर्डर्स कंसीडर नहीं किया आपका एमओआई कंसीडर किया और आपको एक इंग्लिश टेस्ट भी दिलवाया एंड यू क्लियर so you got the offer letter according to what i am aware of aapka pre masters bhi hai so aapka pre masters chalu hoga september mein september and aapka main course chalu hoga march so aapka one and a half year ka course so agar aap chahe to main baat karta hu admission se we'll defer your offer but then you will have a maximum of 
one week in order to pay your graduation is that fine sir sir if i want to change my course in uh, like mba aapka already one and a half year ka course hai and sir. when it comes to mba we have a higher requirement when it comes to mba require a work experience of literally about 2 to 3 years additional oh, okay sir okay fine is so uski requirements high hai ye to maine sirf abhi work experience ko refer kiya but there are additional more requirements as well and uh, that is why i haven't released mba program yet for this okay, we are actually okay. planning to release the mba program for next year for march and in september but for next year but then there are additional requirements jo aap pehle se meet nahi kar rahe isliye we gave you a pre masters program along with a one year masters program. Oh, okay, so, so your pre masters start this september your masters will start in march so uh, if you want you can start your pre masters online jaise hi visa mile aap travel kar lo and pre masters ke exam germany mein de do aur fir apna masters ka main course wahi se continue kar ya fir agar if you want i'll defer you to september or march next year as well but then you need to understand you will be wasting 6 months i want to sir go through with march intake march intake theek hai fine i'll ask marni to revise your offer letter for march but please understand aapka offer june se hai aur aise ka aise hi rakha hua hai and it was the, i was actually about to close this application aapka application close karne wala tha but then i'll speak with admissions i'll ask them to extend your date for another one month and i'll ask them to revise the offer letter for march but then i'm sorry it won't be the attend uh, the reservation fee ki jo deadline rahegi it won't be one month it will be just one week all right so ek hafte ke andar aapko रेजर्वेशन फी पे कर दी तो आप एक काम कर सकते हो आप आप पठानकोट से हो राइट सर आई एम बेसिकली आई एम फ्रॉम गुरदासपुर आई आई अप्लाई फ्रॉम या पठान अच्छा तो आप एक काम कर सकते हो गुड बी आप और अजय इफ यू कैन जस्ट हेल्प हिम विद द फी पेमेंट प्रोसेस मैं एक आध दिन में इनको रिवाइज ऑफर लेटर ऑफ स्टडी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दे देता हूं इन द मीनवाइल आप फी जो रेजर्वेशन फी पे करनी है 3000 यूरो उसकी प्रोसेस चालू कर दीजिए एक आध दिन में मैं आपको रिवाइज ऑफर लेटर भी दे दूंगा ओके फाइन पर याद रखिएगा द रेजर्वेशन फी 3000 यूरोस मैक्सिमम एक्सटेंशन आई कैन गिव यू इज 1 दैट पार्ट Anyone else? Yes, yes. Thank you very much. I get discount, twenty percent discount. That are given. Uh, unfortunately, the course that you're going for, you will not be getting any discounts. Okay. Yeah, the deadline has passed, but I'll try okay. to get you a discount, but I cannot promise. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right, Prashant. Thank. Thanks for your presence. Thank you very much, and thanks team being here. Thank you, Prashant. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gurpreet. Pyramid Visa for a better life.